Hello folks, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a custom widget in Qt and also how to create a pie chart and we'll do them both at the same time so we'll essentially create a pie chart widget. So the first thing is to create a new project in Qt and we'll choose a Q widgets application and I'm going to name this pie chart widget and let's select the path here test next next we want to set this to Q dialog next finish so we have our new project here and the first thing we are going to do is file new file or project and we're going to go add a C++ class and we're going to name this class pie chart widget and we want it to inherit Q widget. Finish. So here's the CPP implementation for our new class. Let's go to the header file for this class. And you can see here we inherit Q widget. The first thing we'll want to do <coughs> is we will want to overwrite the paint event. And this will allow us to paint our pie chart. So void paint event and Q paint event with a pointer. And then we're going to implement this now. So let's go to refactor add here to our C folder or C implementation file. And we need to include Q painter. Okay, so we're going to add a Q painter here, and we'll just call a painter and give it this widget we just created as the parent, the current widget. And we need to create a rectangle that will define the size of our pie chart. So with these Q graphics items, um, they're always defined, their size is always defined by a rectangle. Even a pie slice is defined by a rectangle. Uh, so this is going to be a new Q rect F, which F just stands for floating point. And we're going to give this a start position. So we're going to give it 10, 10. And we're going to give it a width and a height. So for the width, we are going to give it the width of the widget we put in. And we're going to downsize it a little bit. So width minus 10. If I can type 10. And for the height, we're also going to give it the width. And the reason I'm giving it the width instead of the height is because I want my pie chart to stay as a circle. If I give it the height and I resize my widget, um, then my pie chart could become more like an oval and ellipse. And we don't want that because it would look really goofy with the stretched pie chart on there. So we avoid that by making the dimensions of our rectangle width by width of the current widget. Now we're going to set the color of our painter, so of our pie chart. So we're going to, I'm going to name this red. You can choose any color you would like. And we're going to draw pie now. So painter dot draw pie. And we're going to give it the size, so our rectangle. And a starting angle, we'll give it a zero. We want to give it the angle span. And so we want to do this at 90 degrees. So it covers one quarter of the circle. Now in QT, the units for degrees are in sixteenths of a degree. So to make this cover an actual 90 degrees, we need to multiply 90 by 16. Okay, so that'll give us a 90 angle pi on there. It covers a quarter of a circle. And we want to, let's finish out the circle with one more pie pieces a different color so set brush again and we'll do this one blue and painter draw pie and I'll give it the size again and this time the starting angle is going to be where the other angle left off so 90 degrees 
we want this to cover the rest of the circle, so 270 degrees. Okay, now let's build this, and hopefully we don't have any errors. There we go. Looks like we built it correctly, so we should be good to go. Now the next step in displaying this is to go into our dialog form. And we want to add a widget, which is in the containers. And we'll just lay this out so it covers up the whole dialog for now. And then select the widget inside the dialog there, and right click. Click Promote To. And here we will type in the name of the widget class we just created. Pi char widget add and promote. Now if all goes well, this should bring our pie char up when we run it. Let's build it, make sure there's no errors. Looks like we're good. Click run. And here is our pie chart. Now you can see the bottom is cut off because the height of the dialog box is not as long as the width. But if we take it and drag it down, it shows the whole thing and notice how it stays as a circle. So if I squish it down, it gets smaller, stays as a circle. And if I do this, then it can cut it off. Anyway, that is how you can create a custom pie chart widget in Qt. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped answer some of your questions. Have a good day, folks.